These right here are my favorite New Balance. Let me tell you why. One more. Now if you don't know, these are the New Balance 1906R, 1906R, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to be the first one to tell you guys, I used to have to wear New Balance back in like middle school. I remember my gold crown team. Y'all remember like those East Bay ads? We all had to pick out two pairs of New Balances, a black pair and a white pair. And it was like literally tragic to my swag and reputation at the time. Can't do this shit. But we had like a super old school coach and he was set on New Balance and I'm like, Boy, these are trash. You want to coach? But then throughout the years, you know, honestly, the 990V5 is kind of what got me back into New Balance. The aspect of comfort coming from your Nikes, your Jordans, Reeboks, Pumas, all that. I gave New Balance another chance and I really like those. Granted, they do look like Mikey Monarchs. They do look like grandpa shoes. To some people, aesthetically, they are, why would you ever wear those? But there's actually a lot of New Balance models that I really like. This being probably my favorite, just because it is kind of like an elegant athleisure wear. Very futuristic, but also classic and timeless. And it could just be me, but I know it's not because I've seen these sell out. I've seen the hype of them. I feel like New Balance really became, I want to say, not necessarily popular. They've always been a very high quality brand, but just in the aspect of like my generation, younger generations is all those collabs they did with like ALD. They did a collab with This Never That. I think that's what really brought life into these. Granted, these aren't any type of collab. It doesn't have to be a collab shoe. It just kind of puts certain shoes on the map. And I love when brands decide to bring old silhouettes back to give you kind of that nostalgic vibe. I feel like the next 30 days of videos that we're talking about is really gonna dive deep into that nostalgia and why we are sneakerheads to begin with. Why do we even like these shoes? And I think honestly, looking at it, I would say Adidas and New Balance probably have the most comfortable shoes. Granted, I always wear Nike, but when it comes to all day comfort, right out of the box, man, New Balance dominates. And typically most New Balances are made in the US, but these are actually made in Vietnam. And the thing that I really like about these is just the textures and the styles. So this shoe is predominantly all focused on mesh. I guess I didn't mention that this is primarily a running shoe. That's why there's the specific technology in these, like the Inlock, you have the N Energy Soul, they have the Ortholite, but realistically, I'm not a runner. I will not be running in these anytime soon. I just think they are the perfect lifestyle shoe. There's so many other colorways that are super fire, but this blue just, I don't know, it reminded me a lot of like the 90s aesthetic. Back to the details of the shoe, we have this nice royal blue, these hints of this silver metallic sheen, and of course, New Balance running on the tag because these are running shoes. Now, I like the way they have the end stitched into the shoe. It's designed for the optimal fit and to give you that support when running. And I wish I would have known ahead of getting these because I couldn't actually return them, but I ended up getting them in an 11 and a half because I had seen on a review that you should go down half a size, and that is not true by any means. If you want to pick any of these 1906Rs up, man, Trust me, go true to size. I can get away with this 11 and a half. It doesn't really bother me too much, but a 12 would have just been that perfect fit. These are a little extra snug. And even when you get your true size, it's probably gonna be on the snugger side, just based on the technology that's in the shoe. I've always liked this kind of dad aesthetic. That's just based on, you know, the preference of how I dress. I like to wear a lot of athleisure and maybe even like elevated sports where you guys know I love my Stone Island. I wear like presidents, a lot of nylon pants, garment dyed stuff. That's just what I like. And these shoes go perfect with that. Now, as far as on feet, you guys can see they look super clean. I, I don't know what it is. The color blocking of the shoe is just excellent in my opinion. And I think the next pair I gotta get definitely has to be in like a white, maybe like a cream and green colorway. If you do decide to pick a pair up, retails around $150. Sometimes you can find them on sale. Hype isn't really as crazy as it was in previous years, which is nice. Loving the sneaker market right now, just in terms of anything you want, man pretty much have access to for close to retail, which is amazing. Or if you're patient, I really should get my sneaker deals page back up and running because I've just seen so many sales going on, especially for the holidays. If you guys want to know the best time to buy shoes, like on discount will be most likely January, like after the Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales. Those are decent deals, but man, once January comes around, they need to get rid of that inventory and you see that like 70, 80% off and that's where you eat, man. That's, that's how you save money. Patience saves pockets. Always remember that, guys. Let me know down below, man. Do you like the 1906R? Do you own any New Balance? shoes or even you know what's your favorite sneaker right now that's comfortable sometimes we do got to sacrifice style for comfort but most of the time man i'm staying comfortable but this is your boy sneaker life day number five in the books we upload every monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday until the end of the year i feel like we're killing this right now much love i'll see you guys on monday run it make sure you follow me on snapchat instagram twitter all that thank you coach you a freshman you want to coach